Good evening, Vice Chair Haggerty, members of the board, and Superintendent Moore. Thank you for providing us this opportunity tonight to highlight significant work accomplished by two of our schools in partnership with their respective community, the Friendship Community. Prior to our experience with COVID and its impact on our schools and community, we launched our initiative, Respecting Our History, Building Our Future. This initiative is grounded in our belief that the legacy of our school district is built upon a strong foundation of schools, both former and current, and that the history of our schools is one that we need to make sure we capture and do not, do not lose to the passing of time. Recognizing the need and value for archiving this history, Dr. Martin, in his tenure as board chair, introduced this idea to our district and community. And with full support of the board, the project started and it began to evolve from concept to reality. In its design and purpose, the project brings schools and the community together, working in partnership to research the history of identified segregated black schools that once existed in our district, a history that was not archived in the way that it could potentially be. The vision set for the project is one of which existing schools, with the support of community members, engage in research activities, collect artifacts, interview community members, create virtual documentaries, among many other tasks, all tailored to capture and archive the history of a specific school assigned to them. Pre-COVID, much work occurred. A community planning committee was created, and the members of that committee were instrumental in identifying previously existing segregated black schools to research their locations, identify where they were and how many years they were in operation, make connections with our existing schools and the surrounding communities to participate in the research, and identify community members who would help assist and support. Existing schools that we have in place now were paired with names of former schools to research, and they began to develop partnerships with community members. The research and supporting activities were well underway. However, we encountered COVID, and much of the work had to pause. But while much of the work was paused at schools and in the community during COVID, a few of our schools that were in position to continue the research did so. We're also now beginning to seek ways to re-engage our schools in the project to build upon what they had already started. As part of our recognition of Black History Month, we're honored to have with us tonight representatives from Apex Friendship High School, Apex Friendship Middle School, and the Friendship Community, who were able to continue some of the great work started when their project was first initiated. Tonight, you will hear their story and share in their accomplishment. It is a wonderful story and experience to celebrate. I'd like to recognize our special guests in attendance, and if they would just step forward and kind of raise a hand to you, the board, to, so that you will know who they are as I call their name, I would be grateful. Tonight we have Matt White, principal of Apex Friendship High School, have Shawana Jacobs, principal at Apex Friendship Middle School, Rebecca Ashley, library media coordinator at Green Level High School, Dennis Perks, teacher at Apex Friendship High School, and Larry Harris, Friendship Community Member. And I also want to thank John Inns, Area Superintendent, who's provided tremendous support to their school as they have continued to work through this project. To all of you, thank you for you and your team's participation in this project and for the work you've led. At this time, I invite you to come forward to share your team's exciting accomplishments. Board members, thank you. Thank you for your continued support of this project. Thank you for seeing the value in this project and archiving our history. And we look forward to tonight's celebration as well as providing you additional opportunities in the future to celebrate other schools work in this area. Matt. Good evening. It's an honor to be here to present our Friendship School Initiative to you guys. Um, I originally heard about Friendship um, when I was appointed principal at Apex Friendship High School, the West Apex Friendship controversy was the first I learned about it. Um, but to be honest, I didn't find out the true legacy until our first home football game. At that first home football game, I was approached by a gentleman who introduced himself and started to tell me about the story of friendship 
Community and Friendship School. From that conversation, it's grown into this initiative, which has been incredible, and it's a pleasure to be here to share that with you. The gentleman that came up to me was Mr. Larry Harris, and he's gonna start the story tonight. Good evening. Thank you, Mr. White. Um, I'm Larry Harris. I'm a lifelong member of the friendship community. Uh, my family legacy goes back into the 1800s. So thank you for having us to uh, come and share with you uh, as you launch your celebration of National Black History Month. And I certainly am uh, appreciative of that. A few words about the friendship community, uh, which I want to share with you, is that the friendship community, when you first mention it, you wonder, well, how did it get its name? And I'll tell you just a little bit. I, I could give you a tease, but I will just tell you that the friendship community was started way back in the 1840s, mid-1840s, when the remnant of uh, some of the Tuscarora tribe down on the Noose River was scattered to the four winds, east, west, north, south. And they settled here in western Way County and part of eastern Chatham County because it was rich farmland. And they were farmers and millers. And they made a community there where they all were felt to be equals because they owned their own land. What they did was they did discover by virtue of the times that co-mingling together created some problems potentially. What they decided to do in old Native American fashion was to have an old-fashioned powwow, get together and make some decisions about living together in peace rather than chaos, which they did. And in honor of their agreement, they decided to name the place they were standing on Friendship. And they smoked the peace pipe and went on with their lives. And they were a community. We have a motto ahead of our times. They were ahead of their times then because they were an integrated community. And it was only years and years and years later that integration came to the rest of the world, so to speak. And we're still ahead of our time because we have such a great diverse community with the great schools and great churches and great people moving in. And I tell them all the time the history because I want them to know the history and to embrace the history. And I was so fortunate to meet Mr. Matt White who immediately latched on to it and understood it. The other thing that we started to do after we came fast forward to a time when we came before you to get you to help us to keep our name of friendship when we were trying to name the school. Some of you, I see your faces here, you were here then, and you were uh, gracious enough to uh, honor us and left the name friendship in the school since it's in a historic, historic location and we named Apex Friendship High School, Apex Friendship Middle School, and soon to be Apex Friendship Elementary. So thank you so much for the great schools we have there and the great faculty, teachers, and students. Also, we have recently decided that we needed to honor our little Rosenwald School. It's still standing. Sadly, sitting there waiting for the bulldozers to arrive, but it's still there. And of the 27 schools that Wake County had, which was the most Rosenwald schools built by Booker T. Washington and Julius Rosenwald. I myself have played baseball, sandlock baseball, on some of those diamonds at those schools. It's a rich history. It's deserving of being recognized and appreciated. So I'm glad to see you launch this history. I hope you will go even further in helping to preserve something in history that will be remembered. This little school ju just basically, literally lifted generations of young black kids out of poverty. If I had the time, I could tell you about things that have uh, been accomplished and bring, bringing the people up to go out into the world and do great things. So take a look at that, and thank you for having us. We appreciate the opportunity to serve with you as we uh, reach higher toward uh, educational excellence. Thank you for doing a good job.
I've known Mr. Harris for a little bit and he's always a tough act to follow. Um, so um, we are very excited that we were um, able to partner um, with Mr. Harris and the local school community. Um, my name is Becky Ashley and I serve as a school library media coordinator here in Wake County Public Schools. Um, so we were excited in the fall of 2019 when we um, learned about the Respecting Our History, Building Our Future project. Um, and we quickly started to build relationships with community members by attending church, inviting them into our schools and visiting with them in the community. And we were fortunate that that we were able to join in work that they already had going on. The pandemic did not deter us, we're fortunate to say. We then started having Google Meets. Um, they were used for students to interview alumni who attended our Rosenwald School and also to interview other community members. Emails were sent and calls were made to keep our momentum going. And a website was developed to house our research and to share it. The partnership established between the new schools and the original friendship community truly demonstrates the spirit of friendship that was established in the 1840s. The original friendship school was built in 1923 and it educated black students until 1954. And a historical marker was erected on August 22nd, 2021 to honor the original friendship school. This was a tremendous collaboration between the Wake County Public School System and the town of Apex. And we are very proud to let you know that this is the first historical marker in the town of Apex. Good evening. Uh, my name is Dennis Perks and I am a career and technical education teacher at Apex Friendship High School. I teach uh, Adobe Visual Design and Adobe Video Design, and uh, stumbling into the Friends of Friendship community uh, committee has given me really one of the best opportunities to um, connect the real world for the students to the classroom. I'm going to uh, highlight a few of the ways we're trying to integrate the friendship story into our schools. Um, one was at the beginning of the year, Angel, Becky, and I came up with the idea of doing an original friendship t-shirt. And although a t-shirt doesn't seem like much, uh, it turned out to be an excellent way to not only celebrate the uniqueness of the community, um, but to help connect the school community to the community members. And I know it's served as a great jumping off point for me with the students to say, hey, have you heard about the friendship story? Uh, in the end, we sold over 350 t-shirts to community members and staff members at cost. And if you would have attended the historical marker, marker ceremony, uh, it was really great to see everybody uh, dressed in this, in this uh, shared connection. Um, also in discussions with uh, Dr. Toby Holloman and Dr. Wern Holloman, who are the local historians, uh, we've really come to understand the importance of context in understanding local history. Uh, my current students right now, in little more than a week, um, into the new semester, have finished writing, designing, and creating original magazine articles on topics that help us to understand this context. Topics include what is friendship, root causes of the Civil War, the Underground Railroad, the Rosenwald Schools, Brown versus the Board of Education, the Greensboro Woolworths, Woolworths sit-in, uh, the Civil Rights Movement, and uh, numerous others. And so um, in pairing our efforts of the class with my club, Friendship Studios, these articles will serve as a foundation for Friendship the Magazine. Uh, we plan on creating a cover to cover magazine that will have articles, um, community spotlights, school spotlights, historical spotlights, timelines, etc. And so that will all be student created. Uh, another initiative is the historical marker benches, which are being built by one of our students for their Eagle Scout project. Um, he's building three benches that will contribute to our plan to have a reflection garden near the historical marker. And uh, we also have some landscaping and uh, an engraved brick patio um, in the plans as well to help connect the middle school, the high school, and eventually the elementary school. Uh, really quickly, future projects include working on a planning, uh, we're planning a community forum composed of original community members, local historians, and other local members. Um, as we continue to gain knowledge and gather artifacts, hopefully um, as the pandemic slows, uh, we'd love to do Friendship the Documentary, and we have a pretty good start on that as well. And we've also discussed the possibility of developing a local course option that would be taught by our social studies department that focuses on the local friendship history, um, understanding the North Carolina history and the history of the South in the context of our community. So um, thank you very much for giving me your time.
I'm back again. Um, another initiative that we have is a display case um, to showcase the varied history of the Friendship School. Um, it was installed as an educational tool for students, staff, and visitors on the high school campus. Um, and it provides an opportunity for our school building and anyone who comes on campus to learn about the Friendship School project. The display case houses artifacts such as diplomas, photographs, certificates, student work, and among other materials that are related to this project. As our collection grows, we will continue to curate it in a way that reflects not only the Friendship School, but also puts it in the broader context of our nation and the South. Good evening. At the middle school, uh, we are here to uh, work in conjunction with the high school. And so we had the pleasure of hosting the inside ceremony when we had the unveiling of the marker. That was just an amazing moment for both schools to come together because the actual students who attended the Rosenwald School um, attended that ceremony. So just to get a chance to ask them questions and to really engage with them, they all remember their teacher and they had great stories to share about their teachers. So that was amazing. Um, if you will look on the slide there, you will see a portion of a mural. So we had a mural commissioned at the middle school and obviously we wanted the mural to um, to showcase our students and to connect with our students, but I absolutely understood the importance of incorporating um, elements of the friendship community. And so you will see the actual picture of the Rosenwald um, School in the background there. And then we also had a 3D model of the maker of the of the historical marker made and placed on the wall, and that is going to serve as an educational. Um, piece for us to help spread the word and make sure our kids know the importance and the impact of the rich history that surrounds the friendship community. Um, lastly, we do have our own social studies teachers starting to engage in conversations with students just to make sure they know um, just, again, just how fortunate we are to have that history uh, to be a part of our school. And again, um, I also, as the principal, um, I'm so um, excited to be able to blend the decision that was made from this community, which basically said we're all here together, and so we all should get along, and we need to all live in harmony. And that message is something that I certainly want my kids to believe in, in terms of being inside of the school. So we are um, excited about future projects. You heard um, all the great things that are coming up. We're going to continue to do that great work at the middle school, and we want to thank each and every one of you for your time and attention. Thank you so much. Thank you, board. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Gardner. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. Thank you, staff.